Hi, welcome to a new IT Business Essentials tutorial. My name is Carlos. Today, we will be talking about how to make a backup of your emails using Microsoft Outlook. For many people, email history is considered one of their most important digital assets. Depending on how you configure your emails in your devices and the type of servers that your email service provider has, there is a chance that your emails, contacts, and calendars are being saved on the server. However, there might be cases where you want to make a backup of your emails. Your device could get lost or broken, or maybe you are moving to a different email provider and then you need to migrate your emails. In any case, making a backup of your emails is always a good practice. Here, we will show you how to make a backup of your emails, contacts and calendar using Microsoft Outlook. Let's jump into our computer and see how it works. So we are now here within Microsoft Outlook. Uh, this Outlook version is the one that comes with Microsoft 365. However, the steps that we will follow here will work for Outlook 2013, 2016, and 2019. So we need to click on File here on the upper left corner. Then we click on Open and Export. Then click on Import and Export. And then we need to select export to a file and click on next. And here we select Outlook data file is a PST file that we are the, the backup that we are going to create. Then click on next. And we have here the option to select the specific folder that we want to backup. In our case, we want to backup everything. So we need to highlight or select the top folder of our account and make sure that this option here is selected include subfolders as we can see here we can uh, we have a calendar we have contacts as well so everything will be included within this backup make sure that you highlight the top folder as we can see here and then click on next now we need to select the location of the backup that we are going to create. We can browse in our computer and select the, the place where we are going to, to backup. In our case, we want to leave it in the on in, in our desktop and we are going to give it a name. We have created previous backup before with different names. We're going to create a brand new backup with which is called is going to be called backup tree. Then we have these three options here. They will work in case that we have, we want to create, a, we are going to work on a previous backup. In our case, this is a brand new backup. We don't care about this. So we click on finish and we will have this uh, option here, uh, which is, uh, we, we can create a password for this backup. In our case, we don't want to, we don't want any password and uh, we just click on okay. So now the backup is being created. Since this account has only a few emails, this is a demo account, uh, the backup will be made very fast. So we don't, we, we don't see any progress. Uh, so, uh, but now it is complete. We can search for the backup here on our desktop and we will find here the file, the backup tree. So we can use this file to restore our emails, contacts and calendar in any other computer or if we have to make a new installation of Microsoft Outlook. Now, the second part of this demonstration will be the, to restore the emails from the backup that we just created. So we need to click on File on the upper left corner again, then open an export, import an export. In this opportunity, because we are going to restore or import the, 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 the emails, we just click here on this option, Import from another program or file. Then click Next. And we need to select the same kind of files that we used before. We, we created a PST file. Then we are going to import from a PST file as well. We click on Next. We need to select the file that we want to restore. In this case, we want to restore it from the backup tree. Click on Open. And here we have these options. Uh, we have the option to rip 
to replace duplicates. In this case, that will be the most convenient for us. If we select this one, allow duplicates to be created, then we will have to, we will be duplicating all our emails in this file. We don't want to do that at this moment. So we select this option here, replace duplicate with items imported. Then click on next. And we want to place it in the Outlook data file. And we want to import items into the same folder. I mean, the same location where they are. We want to place it there. Then click on finish. And now the process of restoring the emails is taking place now. So now our emails has been restored from the backup. And that's it. Another option that we have with our backup file is that we can open it from Outlook uh, without importing actually the, all the emails. We can just open, we can click here on file and click on open and export, and then open Outlook data file. We select the file that we want to restore, not, not sorry, not to restore, to open a cop tree. And it will open our file here on the left side. We can see it here, Outlook data file. If we expand this, we will see all our uh, folders. And we will see exactly all the emails that we have here on the actual email account in Outlook. This can be useful to search for a specific email that we know that is in our backup. Um, then we can, we don't need to import everything. We just can open the file, search for the, e for the email here. And then actually we can move it. We can move any email from here and drag it into any of our folders here. Uh, let's put it here, for example, in this, in, on the draft, just to see it. So we can move emails from one place to another. Once we finish uh, with this, we'll do right click on our mouse and then close Outlook data file. And we we just keep our regular email here on the top left corner. With this, we conclude our session today about Microsoft Outlook and how to create a backup of our emails, contacts and calendar. If you find this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any comment or questions, feel free to leave us a comment. If you want to see more videos like this one in the future, please hit the subscribe button. We would like to see you again. Thank you.